A well-established mind, a mind which is in a state of some yukti is referred to as a kalpa viksha. If you organize your mind to a certain level of organization, it in turn organizes the whole system. Your body, your emotion, your energies, everything it's organized in that direction. Once all these four dimensions of you, your physical body, your mind, your emotion and the fundamental life energies are organized in one direction. Once you are like this, anything that you wish happens without even lift, lifting a little finger actually. It would help to assist it with activity, but even without doing any activity, you can still manifest what you want. If you organize these four dimensions in one direction and keep it unwavering in that direction for a certain period of time, right now the problem with your mind is, Every moment it is changing its direction. It is like you want to travel somewhere and every two steps if you keep changing your direction, the question of you reaching the destination is very remote unless it happens by chance. So organizing our minds and in turn organizing the whole system and these four basic dimensions of who you are right now in one direction, if you do this, you are a kalpa vriksha yourself, anything that you wish will happen. But right now, if you look at your lives, everything that you have wished for till now, if it happens, you're finished. Everything and everybody that you have desired for, if all of that lands up in your house today, could you live with that? So if you want to become empowered, it is also important that you become responsible as to what you ask for and what you don't. Right now the world situation is just this, we are hugely empowered with technology. Today it doesn't take six, six billion people to destroy this planet. One man by pressing the wrong button can destroy the whole planet. When we are empowered like this, it's very important that our physical action, emotional action, mental action and energy actions are controlled and properly directed. If it is not so, we become destructive, self-destructive. Right now, that is our problem. The technology which is supposed to make our life beautiful and easy has become the source of all the problem that we are destroying the very basis of our life which is the planet. So what should have been a boon, we are making a curse out of it. What has brought incredible levels of comfort and convenience to us in the last hundred years or so, has also become a threat to our life simply because we are not conscious action, we are in a compulsive state of action. So organizing our minds fundamentally means moving from a compulsive state of activity to a conscious state of activity.